I reinforced my lumber with the 55 gallon drum that I cut apart. Um, hoping to strengthen it but also have that non-stick type of surface. Um, ultimately, I hope it works. This is the first time, so we'll see. Quick note, you have to add a skid plate if you want it to slide instead of scrape. <laughs> well, it actually worked quite a bit better than I than I expected. My my goal here was to push it off the driveway so that it's not in the way. Um, probably not probably not exactly where I wanted it right now, but first time one of the biggest issues with having it on the back is not being able to see where I'm going. However, um, a backup camera would fix that. Also, um, just getting used to it. I mean, that'd be a big thing. And I really wasn't even looking. I was just backing up. So improvements to be made, maybe just in my technique. But the plow seems solid enough so far. Is it sticking? I'm hoping to kill it. Huh. Bella, what are you doing? In the shop. <laughs> At this point, you've clearly seen enough that this works and it's awesome, but uh, it's rigid and it doesn't flex when you hit a curb. So, well, lesson learned. On to version two. Nice thing about having a pile that's light is it's easy enough to just pick it up and move it. Really this is a 1.1 version because I just fixed the problem. And then we're good to go. I did have this L bracket. Could have just done with the straight post. But it was originally intended for a winch and I don't know if I'm going to do a winch or not so we'll find out. But so far I've plowed several times and it works just great. If you like the video, please hit subscribe because you want to see if I make another version, right? It's actually surprisingly effective. My technique did improve uh, to the point where it'd take me about three to five minutes to clear the driveway because really I could do it in three passes. It worked absolutely fantastic. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be the best version of yourself.